In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Today, <clears throat> let us call to mind the times that we have failed and ask God for his divine mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. It was not to angels that God subjected the world to come, of which we are speaking. Instead, someone has testified somewhere, what is man? that you would be mindful of him, so the son of man that you care for him. You made him for a little while lower than the angels, and you crowned him with glory and honor, subjecting all things under his feet. In subjecting all things to him, he left, he left nothing not subjected to him. Yet, at present, we do not see all things subjected to him, but we do see Jesus crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death. He who for a little while was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist in bringing many children to glory should make the leader to their salvation perfect through suffering. He who consecrates and those who are being consecrated all have one or origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers, saying, I proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have, been, you have given your son to rule over the works of your hands. You have given your son to rule over the works of your hands. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man? that you should be mindful of him, or the Son of Man, that you should care for him. You have given your Son to rule over the works of your hands. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. You have given your Son to rule over the works of your hands. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beast of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatever swims in the paths of the sea. Of the sea. You have given your son rule over all the works of your hands. Alleluia, alleluia. Receive the word of God not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished by his teaching. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you do to what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. And the unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this, a new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, come by the most powerful means of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Today, we have a gospel where Jesus once again is confronted with a spirit that is not of this world, that is not of the heavenly kingdom. And he deals with it as he is teaching us to. Many times we see this kind of behavior in our world and we ignore it. We don't get involved with it. But my brothers and sisters, that's changing in our world. You're going to see more and more and more and more activity like this as we go along. We're seeing it in the news today. And it's important that every time you see an activity that is not jiving with your spirit, that is not Christian, or the persecution of Christians, or the persecution of the faith, or the persecution of peoples, we should be praying for the angels to intercede. We should be praying that the Lord pour his precious blood over that situation and quell it. I think the capital thing that happened in our world, in our country, could have been a lot worse. There's a lot of people praying at that time as they watched it. My brothers and sisters, we live in a spiritual world. It comes through the flesh. And this is what we must discern in our everyday life. Even facial expressions sometimes we can see how people feel, but all of a sudden they throw a mask on it, right? There's something about this whole situation that kind of smells. I mean, I'll be honest, it kind of smells. It smells like sulfur, if you know what that means. But when we think about how we discern it's always the action, right? It's always the fruit. Jesus says in Holy Scripture that you judge a spirit by its fruit. So if that fruit is to give love, joy, peace, that spirit's probably from God. But if that spirit is giving destruction and chaos and confusion, that spirit's not of God. So we pray at it with the angels. We pray at it with St. Michael. We pray at it with the precious blood of Jesus. It's very easy and simple. What we're seeing in front of us in the world is chaos. It is not a spirit of God. It is a spirit of the Antichrist, I believe. I personally believe that. And no, I don't know who he is, but it's anti-Christ. It's anti-Christian. It's shutting churches down. It's persecution of Christians. And it's all coming at us at once. Know that Canada, and I have friends in Canada, they can't even walk into their church today. They can't go to Mass. And that's happening more and more frequently around the world because of this pandemic that they call. But I believe, where is the rub? Where is the how? How do we affect things? I think we pray. 
we fast, we read our scripture, we come to mass and use the sacraments as much as we can. And the thing is, is when we do that, we participate in the spirit of Christ. And that unites us. That gives us love, joy, and peace that we're looking for. Stay close to your family. But when you see things on the news, pray about it. Break that concentration that's focused on a screen and actually say a prayer. And you can affect many things. Let us stand and pray. Father, we come before you in praise and thanksgiving. We thank you for hearing us. For we know you always hear us. Consider these needs and we beg you to answer them. Father, we continue to pray for our church. We pray for a holy boldness within our church. For the bishops, priests, deacons, all those who preach your word, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sanctity of life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who come to us in crisis, our military, law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, hospital personnel. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick of our parishes, the sick of our community, our state, our country, our world. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for you, for your family, your friends, your circle of influence, for those that have asked for your prayers especially now the prayers in the silence of your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for our country. I don't have a um, mass intention, so let us pray for our country, our political situation, that all things will be resolved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, these are our prayers. We ask you to hear them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and also through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, our Mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. Which earth is given in human hands and made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you. We pray that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things and whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you, O holy people, he stretched out his hands and endured his passion so to break the bonds of death and to manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Anthony and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us safely offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
With you, O Lord, is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Please allow me to lead those at home in a spiritual communion. Lord Jesus Christ, your name is one of the most powerful things in the, in the world, in the universe. Your presence in the Eucharist is more powerful than even that. We ask you, Lord, to come into our hearts, to flood our minds, our spirits, our bodies with healing. Awaken us, Lord, to your presence and give us that great gift of discernment that you showed in the gospel today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. <laughs>